I have this little project that I have been working on for well over a year and slowly I've been buying parts and as of now I have soldered everything in almost I'm missing the um, RF modulator but I have ordered a replacement that do not generate the analog antenna signal so far um, <laughs> I'm, I'm really pleased with, with this little project the ceramic capacitors oh, they are modern looking the board is golden black the only four components that are reused are the Joke coil that is this one, the two joystick ports, and this little thing here. I have no idea what it is, it's a variable something. I have chose good sockets as quality sockets they are gold plated you might not see it so far the, the components are soldered in uh, I have cleaned the board for flux and I've written down all these pins on sockets for the CIA, the basic ROM, kernel ROM, character ROM, the processor, the SID, PLA, VIC2 and 87 oh. the ground pin they check out I did not do any solder bridges on the sockets it's basically my first major project since primary school back then we We had this uh, electronics engineering course where we did some power supplies and stuff. That is back in hmm, 1990, 91, something like that. So this this is basically my first major solder project since then it's the 250 466 or uh, 250 466 board replica yeah I know the voltage regulators that's not they might not fit in the case but um, I will buy some extra heavy duty ones just to keep um, heat low so basically I soldered it all in cleaned up our flux, there's no solder bridges one go 
and the next thing is to measure voltages on the different voltage in pins so now I'm going to do a smoke test Oh yeah, nothing blows. Nothing blows. It might be working. Who knows? I have to measure the voltages before I put in the chips. And I have to get the RF modulator replacement. I've opted for a, um, a modern one. It's one of those that do not generate analog uh, antenna signal. It gives a cleaner picture, and as we all know, a Commodore 64 generates the absolute worst picture quality of any 8 bit machines. So, ironically, it is, it is ironic that the most sold 8-bit computer of all times have the worst video signal because a, a computer without a monitor what, what use is that? it has the best sound of all 8-bit computers the worst video signal So I'm going to turn this off, I'm going to measure it and figure out if the voltages are correct, if they are stable. And then finally I am going to install or insert if you like the chips first up the logic chips I do a smoke test if it turns out that everything is okay with the voltages well then I will insert the chips speaking of chips I've opted for uh, modern replacements that means um, the arm set I do not have money for a FPGA set but I have opted for an arm set a modern PLA replacement newly made uh, ROM chips that is the character ROM, the kernel ROM, and the basic ROM. Of course, I bought this kit of components, and they are all DRAM. Inside, I will buy a SRAM module. In time, BWAC he has a fine YouTube channel. He will create FPGA PLA replacements. And there are someone else on YouTube. I can't remember his name. He's making a Big 2 replacement. And sure enough, the 8701, you can get a replacement for that too. And the RF modulator, the motherboard, the system board. Oh. Well,
Rob Taylor from United Kingdom. He has made this board. And they are, I think, three revisions. The 407, the 466, and the 469. And they are PWAC from, I don't know, Norway, Sweden, I don't know, Scandinavia. He had made the KU board. So basically, oh yeah, and the the case, the Model C case, they are being produced as of now on the original Commodore 64 Model C molds, those made and used by Commodore. So basically. <laughs> It's a wonderful machine. I love Commodore 64s, but yeah, it's it's been a project uh, well over a year, like a year, two months. So it's my personal Corona project, and I kind of like it. Focus. Thank you. Another thing that I have or will be using as a replacement is the heat sink for the voltage regulator that normally goes on the Five volt. Um, ah, I'm missing the LED. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I've salvaged one, and I'm going to reuse it. So it will be one, two, three, four, and five components that I will be reusing. Of chips. At first, I'm going to use the DRAM and an original BIC 2 and the PLAs. Everything else is well, the logic chips, of course, they are, but everything else will be brand new never used stuff I think I got never used logic chips but I'm not sure I well it's going to be I uh, forgot the shield over the cartridge connector that will be reused because I cannot find any newly produced anywhere. It's a shame, but this might be the new mm, vintage computing. Well, this. Uh, Well, I can't, I can't ramble on, but I will, I will stop this video now. At once it's made, created, or finished, and working. I will name my machine. Officially name my machine. I have a name, but uh, it has to be finished. Thank you.